Hey guys, Jason here with RWB NetSec, and in this video we're going to be going over Dimitri, aka the Deep Magic Information Gathering Tool. So Dimitri is another information gathering tool that will take either a host name or IP address as input and then attempt to gather information such as additional subdomains, email addresses, and will even perform port scans of the host. Uh, the program was written in C by James Gregg and this is an older program and there are other tools in Kali that do a better job of gathering this type of data but Dimitri was probably considered to be a good tool for the time period it was created so I just wanted to let you know that ahead of time so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into it all right so the the information categories can be broken down basically into passive and active on here and you can see I've kind of broken them up into to each section uh, as far as the options that you can use within Dimitri so under passive you've got the ability to do who is lookups on the IP addresses and the or a domain name of the host uh, you can set it to try to retrieve netcraft data uh, you can tell it to search for any subdomains and any email addresses that it finds. And it does this uh, searching on Google and on the, the now defunct Alta Vista, which kind of shows you the, the age of the program. And under the active section, uh, you can set it to do a port scan, and then it will also try to read the banner information for each port. Uh, you've got this option too to change the TTL setting when it's scanning a port. The default is two seconds, but you can change that depending on the the network that you're going against. And this last option here, the TACO, just allows you to save the output to a text file. If you don't specify this when you're running the program, all the data just gets uh, put to standard out and just shows up on your screen. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize this. Now to launch Dimitri within Kali, you just go up to Applications, Information Gathering, and then just click on Dimitri from here. And you can see it just comes up and shows you the options that are available. Um, Dimitri also has a man page, which will give you a little bit more detail on each option and also show you some of the or some examples of how to use it. So if we just do man Dimitri. And then you can you can uh, pull it up yourself and just kind of read through everything. See, it shows all the options, a little more detail, and then it gives some examples toward the end here. So I just wanted to show you that quick. Now you can run Dimitri without specifying any options at the command line, other than just putting whatever your target host name is or IP address. Um, if you do run it this way. It's going to, by default, it will run with most of the options set as default. Um, I personally prefer specifying the options that I want so that I can kind of have more control over the type of output that I'm looking for. Uh, another thing is you may, may not want to do passive and active recon together, uh, especially uh, in this sense if you're practicing on sites out on the internet. Um, you may not be wanting to do recon against those sites if you do not have uh, permission to scan that target. I know in some areas port scanning is considered to be illegal. So just make sure that you check your local laws first before running any port scans against the target. Now let's go ahead and start using the program. We're going to start using the passive recon options. Uh, so I'm just going to run it with multiple options at the same time. Then we're going to send those results to a text file. And if you'll notice, I've got a folder created on the desktop that that file is going to be saved to. And I've also got that directory up here. So the syntax for running the command is just going to be Dimitri. And we're going to do a tag WNSEO. And then I'm going to do that against uh, containerstore.com. So we're telling it to perform a who is lookup on that domain to try to retrieve netcraft information, uh, look for any subdomains and email addresses that it can find. 
and then the output file is just going to be called containerstore.com.txt. So we'll hit enter here. You can see it's running through it. It actually runs through it pretty quick. So if we scroll back up, we can see that it, uh, it resolved the host to the IP address. It did a who is lookup on it. And then it, uh, it searched Google for subdomains and it found a couple here. And it searched Alta Vista. Of course, it didn't find anything there uh, for obvious reasons. But now if we go into our folder, you can see that that text file was created. So if we open it up, you can see it's the same information that's displayed to the screen. So I'll go ahead and close that out. And now we'll look at using the active recon options. And this time I'm going to be running it against a target VM that I have set up in my lab here at home. So we're going to be doing a port scan and then trying to get any banner information that's available from that target. So let me clear the screen here. And the command we're going to use now is just Dimitri TAC P B O and then the IP address of my target machine. I'll hit enter. And here we're telling it to do a, uh, it is a TCP port scan, so keep that in mind. It's not doing any UDP scans. And it's going to try to read the banner information and then it will save those results to a text file. And one, I guess one word of caution for this, uh, while it's doing its port scans, it's actually pretty slow, even on a local network. All right, it's found a couple so far. All right, so it's finally finished here. So you can see that it found what, four open ports. Now it says that it only scanned 150 ports and 70 of those were closed. So not nearly the depth that maybe an in-map scan would have done, but still, I guess it's a pretty good start. So we can, let's just do a quick comparison with InMap. Yeah, let's do a version scan. Uh, let's just do it against those same ports. 21, 22, 25, and 80. Just to compare the, the difference in the output that you'll get and why other tools are probably better for this type of thing. So you can see here the results that InMap came back with a lot more detailed than what Dimitri showed. So that's just another option. And for the record, bonus points to anybody who can guess the target VM that I'm scanning against here. It's one of the more popular vulnerable, vulnerable VMs that are out there. So, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I know it was a, a short one, but there's not a lot of stuff to go into with Dimitri. It's pretty simple in its use and for the amount of options it has. Uh, I, like I said before, I'm sure Dimitri was a good tool to use a few years ago, but my opinion is there are tools today that do a better job gathering this type of information. Uh, just the simple fact that it's still using Alta Vista to do its lookups is proof you should probably look at a more current solution. And if you wanted, just for the heck of it, if we go into the uh, user bin directory, let me clear this out. and run strings on the Dimitri binary and you can see what I'm talking about here you see the get request that it's using to uk.altavista.com for the uh, subdomain and the email lookup so it is a bit dated uh, like I said there are better tools to use but this was just another one included in Cali, and I wanted to run through it and show you how it worked. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if it's your first time here, I would love if you subscribe to the channel and share it out with all of your friends. So my hope is to build a community where we can help each other learn 
and grow in security, especially if you're just getting into it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And again, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you all have an awesome day. See you guys.